Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a very very quick overview of how to download and install the stuff you need to get a basic Python development environment set up on a Windows machine. I'm using Windows 10 here, but this will work on 8 and 7 as well. Go to python.org, that's the official Python website. I cannot recommend the docs section here, the documentation, highly enough. Uh, as you're following along with this course, I suggest that you augment everything that isn't entirely clear or everything that you're interested in going a little deeper into with the official documentation. That said, uh, all you need to do is go to downloads and choose the latest version of Python 3. So in our case, that's 361. We can go ahead and keep this file and the download's gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so our download has finished. You can go ahead and click on that run it and here's here's the important thing before you hit install now make sure that the add python 3.62 path is checked this is going to allow you to run your python scripts the way that i'm showing in all of these uh, videos on linux so you can open a terminal navigate there and run your scripts if you don't customize your installation that is you're just choosing the install now step here that also gives you a python kind of development environment it's like an editor with a built-in Python shell, package management, and some docs. So this is what you want. Install now, but not before adding Python 3.6 to your path. And we're almost done here. Okay. This is done. If you now open your Windows menu and type in idle, you'll see that the idle editor and development environment is available to you here. You can click on that and this gives you a Python shell. You can open a new file and use this as a text editor um, for all the examples and you've got your REPL, your read eval print loop which you'll learn all about in uh, the next video right here. So edit and save text files that are going to be your source code and here's where you try things out live. Do a calculation. 8 times 8. Hooray, it's 64. Python works. Computers work. Everything works. Math is real. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.